Oh, hey, welcome. Listen, guys, we're going to go to the Goodwill bins today. It's early in the week as of shooting this. What is it, Hannah? Tuesday? Tuesday. I lose track. When you live your life thrifting, days of the week don't matter. But it's Tuesday and we're going to the Goodwill bins. And I'm excited because early in the week is a really great time to go to the Goodwill bins because it's usually when they're doing more of the restocking and stuff. So super excited about that. But before we get started, I want to beg you for something. I want you to pause and scroll down or click back or do something. Look at our sub count. <laughs> As I'm shooting this, we're at like 9,950 subs, this close to 10,000 subs. So before we even get started today, please hit that sub button if you haven't already, or if not, go tell your mom to sub. You know what I'm saying? We can do this. We can do 10,000 subs today which means the next day, or maybe a couple days after that, we can shoot our 10,000 sub celebration. Speaking of which, I've already got like a special thing for it. I've got the confetti cannon. One of you guys sent it to me in the mail like four months ago, forever. I don't know why you sent it to me, but I've been saving it for the 10,000 sub video. So stick around for the good wool bins, but in the meantime, please, please sub. I don't ask for much, just subscribe to this channel. First spin, I haven't even done through anything yet, and someone's already given me some Star Wars books, so that's a good start. And the assigning of these bins is completely kind of random at first, so I got a bin full of electronics, and I'm gonna at least check it out. It's an Acer laptop here. There's no sticker on it to denote what processor it has, which is kind of all I'd really care about. But honestly, it's really banged up and really dirty. I hand it to my buddy and see if he wants it. I don't. I got called toward the end for the lottery and they are completely out of closed bins. There are so many clothes resellers here today that I got stuck with a uh, very dirty box of miscellaneous. It's very dirty. There are some toys in here though, which is exciting. Some cabbage patch, some knives. It's gonna be a fun dig. Coupon clipper. See, look at all this bunch of nonsense. Stones, really old computers. We're talking. Celeron dual core inside. Not anything I want to mess with. Okay. Oh, yes. So it's a card playing mat if you're into playing Pokemon, but I also use them as uh, mouse pads. And that is beautiful. What the heck? I didn't expect that. It's also important to note that we're stuck at these bins for five minutes until they let us move on. So I kind of have to make the best of it, and I'm glad I did. Because, because I like that. Now I'm kind of afraid there's more in here. Because you know there could be. I moved down to another toy bin. I found some cute stuff. Like the Doodle Bear Cat. I'm so excited. It's so cute. Found a little, uh... Bubbles keychain and a little Pikachu pin that I'm just gonna show Dallas because he'll appreciate it. Did you find that good? I got a doodle bear cat. Not bad. Ooh, keychains. Oh, keychain. I'm into it. Is that Pokemon? <laughs> That's awesome. I All right. like that. Well, I got a nice gaming pad. All right. A bin full of what looks like kind of toys and board games. Ooh, I love these. And then we're gonna have to talk about that. It's a mask. I kind of want to put it on, but I, 
Maybe we'll put it on to scare Hannah. What are these? No! Chippendale, what? This is awesome. Yes. Oh, yes. This one's a little torn up. But that's awesome. Wait, that one's missing a piece. All right, finally got a clothespin. My first find. Boy Scouts of America. Point and both. Pants. Points? Pants? Anyway, they are borderline. They're size 16. Um, have you with them saying Boy Scouts of America? That could be a good thing or a bad thing. Someone could be like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I want them. Or they could be like, ew, I don't want to wear Boy Scouts of America pants. We'll hold on to them. At least it's something. It's a start. We found a good bin! I've already pulled a really cute pair of Joel Blast rolled up shorts. Another pair of these St. John's Bay like carpenter style pants with like this white accent stitching. It's really beautiful. And then a pair of Calvin Klein and a pair of gray Levi's for color blocking. So very happy already. And now all oh, these are cute two little bees. Um, coming home with me. Some Karen Scott. That's pretty good. Well, we might grab those. I like the color of them. Those little vintage trousers are good. Let's see. What's this gold thing? Hello. Okay. There's some like B-level vintage in here. Some like this is a uh, St. John's Bay. So it's like it's a cute color. The cut's nice, but St. John's Bay isn't great, so we're not gonna grab those. No. I didn't know if you want that album. I'm not sure what it is. Anything good? A couple things. I don't know what's really in there yet. Is there some stuff in it? There's something. Oh in there. yeah. Little '83 Care Bear. There. Nice. That's about to be fine of the day if it's all there. Oh, Spirograph. Pretty much unopened. It's awesome. When it rains, it pours, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing those every day now. There are times of the bins where I walk up to a bin and I just see something out of the corner of my eye. I'm just like, oh, that would be cute if it's what I think it is. So you look and you see like a little bit of striping. You're like, oh, those would be cute if they were jeans, not suiting. And then you pick it up. And you find out that they're not only jeans, they're vintage jeans. And then I'm happy. I'm searching the bottom of this bin, kind of hoping this puzzle piece will show up. It's not really worth all that effort, but the bins is kind of super crowded today. Look at the tall troll. That's awesome. The bins is super crowded today, so. It's not really worth the extra effort to try too hard. Just too much competition. Oh, but I'm glad I dug to the bottom of this. We got trolls, baby. Wait, there's another one. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's another one. <laughs> oh. If you're wondering why this is so funny, we shot an episode last week, two weeks ago. I don't know exactly when. And there are all these trolls at the Goodwill, but they were a bit pricey. So I didn't want to pay top dollar for them. And I said to the camera then, go back and watch it. This kind of stuff will show up at the bins and I'll buy it then. Here we are. Here it is. I'm going to buy it now. We're buying trolls today, especially this one. <laughs> oh, not anything crazy. Some troll dolls, baby. Troll dolls. What else you need? All right, there's one final basket in this bin. Let's see what's in it. Some plush, a couple board games, puzzle pieces. I'm just making sure there's no more trolls. No troll left behind, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. More trolls. Can't leave them. There's a ton of little sort of blank canvases in here. I 
kind of want to get them. I actually really want small canvases, like maybe that size. But um, they are super light, so it is very tempting. The thing about a blank canvas is then you got to paint it. So, <laughs> anybody got time for that? I'm in an interesting bin now that's got like some arts and crafts and some freaky dolls in. Got a trash bag of plush or something. Barbie. Ooh. Vintage Pink Panther. Maybe we'll hold on to that. And the severed head of a Barbie doll. Okay. Scary stuff. This is a beautiful chair. There's a ton of furniture here today. I wish this was a light color wood. Like, maybe more of that color. And then this be more of like a goldenrod yellow rather than the like burnt orange look. I guess it's not burnt orange, it's like golden pumpkin. I don't know. <laughs> but it's very pretty. I do like it. I don't need a chair. Kinda need a couch. But I don't like any of the couches here. Well, how about that? Oh man. You know, it's all right. I've got a loose copy of this at home. I'm I'm 80% sure I've got a loose copy of this at home. I can't be the only one in the world that would wear a Christmas sweater every day of the year. Because when they look that cute, how can you not? <laughs> it's so cute. Show me the best thing you found. Oh. Ooh. It's mostly there. Hey, the mini pig, that's half of what matters. <laughs> I'm taking a quick break from clothes right now because there's just really not a ton for for me to get. But uh, I'm in a bin full of pots and pans and what a find. Look at this beauty. I have the big one at home in the wildflower pattern. This is the spice of life pattern. It's definitely gonna be getting that. They've kicked this out of the back room. I've walked straight to the book bin. What have I found? Sonic the Hedgehog. I thought it was a Reader's Digest, but it's not. It's just a book. Looks like I'm having a little more luck in the toy bin than I was in the clothing bin. I found a little, little sunshine bear. She's cute. I found this little uh, Build-A-Bear Promise Pets, the black cat. I was looking it up. There's a lot of them that are like calico or orange. There's even a tuxedo one that's pretty common, but apparently this one's not common and it goes for about 35 bucks. So we're gonna be getting her. She looks in great condition. That's surprising. I'm glad I looked it up. Hannah, I'd like to know how you feel about this. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. All right, open them. No. <laughs> Take it off. What do you think about that? Yeah, look at your fat. Scale of one to ten, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty awesome. And then that's probably best find, second best find. Somebody handed me this. Yeah, you know what it feels okay, like. Okay, it's actually kind of aggressive. It's really scary. It's like, especially when you get in my face, it's kind of aggressive. Jesus, stop it. <laughs> I, I will punch a baby. <laughs> Well, this is an interesting thing to spot on the way to the back of the store. All these vintage super soaker bottles. That's crazy. They're very dirty. Just gently pop those in there. Some water whackers. This looks like somebody's a uh, garage just threw up in here. We're waiting for the next rotation to start now. So between last time you saw me and now, there's been about an hour of waiting to get into the new bins and it looks like we can. And I'm not too excited about my bin here. Some empty puzzle boxes, some Nerf stuff. A basket, I'll take that. That's useful. All right, you, you're not gonna believe this. This whole bin is mostly comprised of little toys. I'm definitely seeing some good Imaginex stuff, Beyblade, there's a Batman. So I think I'm definitely gonna take the time to sift through most, if not all of this. That's just kind of nuts. I don't even know how to start with this. There's so much nonsense. 
Triceratops. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. This thing necklace they give us to give our number for the lottery is annoying. Let's tuck it in my jacket. Oh, there's a giant panda. Oh my gosh. Go over here, panda. Oh, there's so many of these Beyblade launchers, but no Beyblade yet. They're probably somewhere on the bottom of this bin. Hello, Transformer. Is anybody else feeling my pain right now? <laughs> like this is just so insurmountable. I need another giant bin to take this out piece by piece and put it in so I can see it all. I don't want to miss nothing. Oh, look at this awesome elephant. That's frightening. There's actually a lot of people watching me right now because they spotted this bin and also want to dig through it. I find this crazy. This has happened a couple times. A complete 3D printer. I've kind of inspected it. And all I can tell is wrong with it for sure is some belts are broken. But I mean, the power supplies here, everything is plugged up, no severed wires. Usually they get tossed out when someone, you know, blows a motor or something and doesn't want to fix it. So it could have blown motors, but I don't know. But I just don't have the time right now to mess with that kind of thing. You guys are finding all the good stuff magic. Do you know what that is? What is it? It's a Lapras. Hey, I didn't even look at it. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Looks like someone took the cards and left the rest. Or the cards are spilled around here somewhere. Gotta move, Cal. Oh, yeah. Minecraft Cal. Wait, no way. This might. Uh, 85 watts. I need it to be 85 watts. It's 85 watts. This is the charger to my MacBook. Are you kidding? That looks in such great condition. Yeah, well, compared to the messed up one I have at home, I have two, right? Yeah. I keep one by the bed and I keep one where we shoot so I can move my MacBook back and forth without plugging it up. This is perfect timing because I just destroyed one. Oh, sweet. Good. Uh, what do you got? She just keeps finding Pokemon cards. Well, there's a Wii for the first time in a little while. Though I honestly don't really need any Wii's, I need peripherals. I sure do like to t see if there's any games in them though. This one's got a memory card. I don't know, maybe we'll have to hold on to that. Hannah found a bunch of Pokemon cards in the bottom of this bin and she keeps finding Pokemon cards and magic in the bottom of that bin. So we are digging to the bottom of both of them. Ooh, magic cards. We're not gonna leave any magic or Pokemon behind. That's the one rule, right? There's a Fortnite Jeep thing. That's remote control. I've played with this with my nephews before. I'll set it aside in case the remote shows up. Oh, is that Bart? Show is. There's a Pokeball thing. Okay, here, look, I found some movie trivia. Ask me, ask me a question. In the famous candlelit dinner scene, what entree do Tramp and Lady share that makes them inadvertently kiss? Spagooter. <gasps> I'm so sorry. The answer is, what is Spagooter? What is Spagooter? <laughs> Give me another one. Um, what is the name of Captain Hook's happy henchman in the menu? Shmee! Adaptations of Peter Pan. Shmee? <laughs> yeah. I got it, I win. Jeff just handed me this empty case. I think I have this game, so that'd be good. And then we both spotted like a dozen Goosebump books. There's a lot in here. Everywhere I look, there's more Goosebumps. Give me all the Goosebumps. I was about to open that like it was a Wii game. It's not. Blockbuster. Sometimes these are worth looking up. I don't really mess with them. I got a buddy here I have them too that likes to deal with them. Not I. 
Ooh, but these. Some of the other ones were Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there's, a, there's more. There's so many in here. It's crazy. Oh, nice. The unicorn build a bear. Well, I found my goosebumps haul for the day. It talks. Does it talk? I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember a couple months ago, we drove up to Oklahoma City from Texas, and uh, a real nice dude gave me a Yu-Gi-Oh game? That's Jeff. Yeah. Jeff, not Jeff. Jeff and Tara. <laughs> You guys drove up to Phoenix just to check out the bins here, right? Yeah. Yep. So what did you think of them? Just real quick review. Because you guys are probably some of the few people I talk to regularly that have been to as many bins as I have. So what did you think of this one? Yeah, I like it. The second oh, round was a lot better than the first. But well, overall, you, got, yeah. you got a lot of toys and board games and stuff. And I haven't even hit the clothes yet. You haven't even started the clothes? <laughs> well, good. Well, I'm glad you liked it. All right. I'm gonna show off what I got today. I got a lot of really good pieces. I'm super excited about it. I got a lot of shorts, which I'm really happy about because it's warming up, but um, got a pair of distressed Levi's. I love finding them already distressed because that is a ton of work to do them by hand. But I got a bunch of just vintage denim that sells really well. Bill Blass and Lee are starting to get a little bit more popular. These little like Western style looking jeans are also really great. And some like linen mom shorts. I actually sold both colors of these already yesterday. So I'm really excited to replace those as well. My find of the day for clothing are these babies though. That subtle pinstripe is so pretty. I actually looked up at them in the corner of my eye. I thought they were suiting and I wasn't even gonna pick them up and I was like, wait, that looks like denim. I'm so pumped. Those are so cute. And these are really funky. They're like these little workman pants, but they're for women and they're like lightweight and super comfortable. Those will be really good. The rest of these I got for my custom jeans that I make. So I've got a lot of different colors so that I can make my color blocking jeans. And for those of you who are new that don't know what I'm talking about, I make these jeans custom over on my Depop. The link is below in the description. Both the Dallas and I's Depop page are linked below. So if you wanna check out these or the other colors that I make, you can see them there. But I'm very, very excited to start introducing a little bit more color. The black and white ones are right now like my favorite, but now getting a little bit more of a pop of pink will be really awesome. I think I'm gonna do like a pink and white or a pink and black with these and do some uh, really fun, colorful shorts. <sighs> it's gonna be so pretty, I'm really pumped about it. But I've got a lot of denim to work with, so we're gonna make some magic. Now let's check out what Dallas got. Let's be super clear. Those jeans we brought home, that's exactly what we go to the bins for. That's exactly how we make our living, all of our custom clothes. Hannah and I both have a Depop and we're cycling just constant clothes through one of our Depops and customs through another one. And that's what's most important. And without the bins, it'd be really difficult to do that the way that we do because all that clothing, we pay for it by the pound. If you're watching this and you're new to this channel and you don't understand what's going on in this channel, it's a little bit hard to explain in, in just one setting because that Goodwill Bins is just this magical realm of awesomeness. And I'm about to explain to you in several ways through what we just bought, how awesome it is. The first being what Hannah showed you, all those jeans, $1.59 per pound, that makes those jeans 100% cheaper than we would pay for them at a regular Goodwill, a regular thrift store. That alone makes that place the most magical place on earth. But the other thing that makes it, I would say, even more magical is the nonsense. And I talk about nonsense a lot on this channel, but I mean, Hannah found a plush, right? That is worth, how much did you say? 35. 35, it goes for 35 on eBay right now. That's awesome. So a, a nice little thing to post on eBay or put in our antique malls. I don't know which yet, but all this plush and some of this other nonsense, antique mall stuff. So this kind of helps keep paying the bills Antique malls are kind of our second biggest income behind our clothes reselling and uh, very happy about those I want to kind of just hang them up on the wall with thumbtacks or something because they're so awesome, but uh, Without the bins 
I don't know how we would keep our antique malls that make our second largest portion of our income. Uh, I don't know how we'd do it. I don't know how we'd keep those stocked because all this stuff, I mean, all this stuff we brought home today was like a $20 bill. And if this was all to be bought individually at a regular Goodwill, I mean, you're talking $100 plus, hundreds of dollars maybe, just sometimes, depending on what we actually get. But I did bring home trolls today, and we're going to kind of set those aside as we go because we have a little bit to talk about there. The, the amount of times that we bring home household goods from the Goodwill bins is absurd. This room that we're standing in right now, I've got some cool LED light changing bulbs. This, you know, this is like backlighting, mood lighting. This camera that we're shooting on right now isn't the normal camera we shoot in this room. If you actually look up, there's kind of cameras all over this place. This is our shooting studio. So normally there's a big fancy camera and not our GoPro that we do our day to day with. And even all these lights in here are from the Goodwill bins and all the light fixtures that, that are in them. It's all cheap Goodwill bin stuff. So <laughs> these are brand new. These are actually unused. They were taken out of the package at the Goodwill bins today. So like super awesome. The Goodwill bins is perfect for that kind of thing. I needed a new mouse pad because the last one I had was getting dirty. Tell me, tell me who you know that has a cooler light um, mouse pad. I mean, I have one in the other room that lights up, so it's kind of cool too, but this is awesome. I'm very happy about that. Uh, I just, I don't even know what else. Troll? Tall Troll, I've actually never seen that. Have you, Hannah? No. The Tall Troll? I haven't, I've never. Uh, and then games and books. That's the only video game stuff I really left with today, but no big deal. I mean, it's better than nothing. Three Star Wars books for our antique malls, which have just been paying our rent double, doubling our rent just in Star Wars books. It's kind of nuts. Microphone parts, super usable. I, Hannah found this. It's a stylus. Oh, that's awesome. That'll go in my DS case. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I'm gonna set that aside and I've got, I've got too much to talk about over here. We did not find these super soakers at the Goodwill bins today. However, Hannah, with the finds of the day, as far as I'm concerned, found these. And I was really curious if they were going to fit either of these guns. I bet it fits one of them. I think this one's actually gonna be too big. Yeah, see the thread on that? Huge. And that is tiny. However, this one right here, it appears to me that it's gonna work. Oh yeah. So those will work as refills for that gun. And that's pretty funny. Uh, actually, neither of these super soakers, these vintage super soakers work. The little plastics inside of them that create the pressure have cr like crumbled inside. They've fallen apart. So go subscribe to our other channel, Rubber Duck Yellow is the name of the channel. Link in the video's description. I'm gonna make a whole video taking these back apart, rebuilding them with proper gaskets. And we'll have lots of extra barrels because how many of them did you find today, Hannah? Three or four. It's absurd. One, two, three, four. That's one of those things. The Goodwill bins always invokes this kind of thing in me. They call me... Tindo tube fingers. No, they don't. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> they look like balloon animals. <laughs> I look like a Batman villain. Um, what was I even talking about? I always get this sense when I'm in the Goodwill bins that, like, if I could have a superpower, it would just to be touch items at a thrift store. I should have this power and to know where they came from. Because who was, like, just throwing away... The bottles from their super soakers like you know i can imagine stories how that would happen but i don't know what they would be oh that made a good sound it did. did you hear that okay well we left with a lot of goosebump books which is awesome because again antique malls I, i've been selling these just a dime a dozen super awesome sonic book which is funny i think i actually have this book over on that shelf on my nintendo -y, sega -y vintage gaming shelf I actually kind of just bought this as a refill. I have a Spirograph board game of my own that's missing a couple pieces, and this looks like untouched, so I think those pieces are going to be in there. Form Hannah's nonsense for the kitchen. I think she's actually going to keep that one. Isn't that what you said? Maybe thinking about it? Potentially. This is super awesome because I do have this game, but I didn't have the case, so someone handed me that. Someone gave me that today. They found it a bit and didn't want to mess with it. Super pumped about that. I love it, getting empty cases. That's another thing, another way in which the bins is magical, right? I find a loose game at one Goodwill, I go to the bins and I find the case, put them together. I've completed a hundred games. Out of these 3,000 games you see over here, at least a hundred of them are completed in just that way. 
Uh, but I, this is actually some troll dolls I found at a regular Goodwill the other day that I bought. And I'm almost convinced that these exact trolls were the leftovers from that same store. That's another way in which the Goodwill Bins is magical. And we're going to have to title this video, The Goodwill Bins is Magical, because this is really what it's all about. We see regular stuff like this at the Goodwills all the time, and we go, you know what, that's too much money, we're going to wait. And sure enough, it shows up at the bins. And then I pay, you know, what we, what might we have paid for this, a quarter? Yeah, maybe less. Yeah. Well, I made a joke on a video when we found these a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, that I was going to, uh, I was going to maybe collect troll dolls. I don't think I'm going to. I'm not really there. I might find a couple with like yellow hair just to put on a shelf somewhere. You think I should just put one in the middle of the Furbies? Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Bruh. He fits. He looks like he belongs. I'm into it. Uh, just because it has the yellow hair. But the rest of these trolls, I'll probably just bundle up and sell at the same antique mall that we're going to sell uh, some of these books and stuff. But I also grabbed this Batman because no Batman left behind. And there were some Pokemon cards. Two last things to talk about. Woody, we sell tons of that kind of thing in our antique mall. But I got a friend that I buy old expired films for when I find them at the thrift store. And he likes to he likes to do some odd photography with expired films and try to see what kind of color he can get out of them. Magic cards and Pokemon cards. That was our best Pokemon card find. A Lapras. That's not bad, huh? Pretty happy about that. But I have one more thing to talk to you about. That's all the nonsense, that's the other stuff. But I'm gonna show you now the way in which the Goodwill Bins is the most magical. I already have this MacBook charger plugged into the wall, okay? Now, mind you, here's the one, see this camera rig I have here? Well, when we do our live shows, which you should set your calendar for, every Sunday we're doing a live show here in the game room, showing off all the stuff that we bought in the previous week, maybe, or it's, it's kind of a weekend review kind of thing, talking about the previous week doing some cool stuff with maybe some of the stuff we bought. Hannah, compliment me on my suit. When we do that, we we set the laptop here. This is where we read comments and stuff like that. And that's all cool, except I've busted one of my chargers and I have not, I've dreaded looking it up on eBay and buying a new one. But here's the one I leave plugged in here. And I'm just gonna just show you how it works. I plug it in, this light's gonna come on, right? So here is the MacBook charger I bought today. Ran across the room because it's got the log cord on it. And is it going to work? Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, come check this out. See if it uh, is actually charging. Yep, we're charging, baby. That's good. That's... I, that'll change your life. I can honestly say in two years of shopping at that Goodwill Bins now, it has changed my life. Most expensive things I could need, whether it be a tool, whether it be an electronic, or whether it be components to fix something, because I'm a rather a, a kind of a fix-it type person. Uh, if you watch any large portion of the videos on the channel, you'll you'll know that you'll you'll find that out that I like to fix things, even parts, replacement parts. I will I will wait until it shows up at the bins, with very few exceptions. Of course, there are exceptions. We found this rather nice camera gimbal at a regular Goodwill the other day and I did all the testing on it to find out it worked fine but the batteries were dead and this is the kind of thing that if I weren't in a hurry I could certainly wait for those same batteries to show up in some other random device at the Goodwill bins but I was too impatient because I love camera equipment so I've got batteries on order they'll be here tomorrow and I'll have a new camera toy to play with but everything else I mean there's just so much in here so many parts of these tools that we use to do our live show and stuff that have come from the Goodwill bins. Every single cable you see run here, you know, all these, tw uh, th that's like a 20 foot or 15 foot HDMI cable coming from this camera up here. And there was a giant bin one time at the Goodwill bins. I literally said to my buddy, I texted him one day and I said, if you come across any super giant long HDMI cables at the Goodwill bins, let me know, I'll come buy them. He sends me a picture on some random Thursday and it's those bins you saw us digging in today. It was a giant Gaylord full of nothing but wrapped up brand new, still in the package, 15, 20 foot HDMI cables. I drove over there and bought 10 of them. It's a magical place. I want you guys to comment below and let me know if you've been to the Goodwill Bins, if you have a local Goodwill Bins. 
Tell me where it's at if you feel comfortable saying so online and tell me uh, what you think about that bins because we're definitely trying to collect information here about Goodwill bins because it's such a huge part of our channel. We're getting on the road to travel soon. We want to know what Goodwill bins we should go to. So I want to know about yours and uh, if you really feel like getting into it and talking to me about it. Tell me what the best thing you might have found at yours is. If you don't have one, you can maybe comment below and let me know if you have another store. I know I hear random stories all the time about uh, Amazon return stores and even like St. Vincent de Paul bins type stores or even the odd thrift store around the country or maybe in your country has a bins type dig through trash setup. I wanna have a giant conversation in the comments today about that kind of thing. But guys, that is all that we got. I love the Goodwill bins. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life visiting such trashy places. And I know a lot of you guys understand. So do me a favor before we get out of here. Like I've also said in this video, help us get to 10,000. If we're not already, you might just click over right now and see we're at 10,000. If so, pour one down for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I won't know until tomorrow. But right now we're sitting at, uh, I think, 99.50-ish. So... Super pumped to get to tomorrow and see if we make 10,000 then. But other than that, guys, we do post daily videos on this channel every other day. So we're going to the bins every, and every other day we're doing regular thrifting and uh, maybe every other month or so we're trying to do some travel. So if that sounds like something you want to sign up for, hit the subscribe button, but most importantly, come back tomorrow. But until tomorrow, peace out.